Hey guys, what's up? Erf here. Today we're going to take a look at Android 7.1.1 on the Galaxy Note 4. So this is not the official Samsung build. There probably won't be one, but thanks to XDA forms and the developers, we do have a Cyanogen mod for the Snapdragon variants of all Galaxy Note 4s. So here's the lock screen. You get the very basic lock screen right here. On the right, you got your camera. On the left, I was able to set it to the music app so you can really change them to whatever you want I just like the camera there and music there those are the most two apps that I want to open up as soon as I turn the phone on all right so swipe to unlock so here is the home screen very basic just like stock Androids I threw on Nova Pro, Nova launcher prime on top and I changed the icons to the pixel icon so it looks very nice and modern got the circular icons as you guys see works very smoothly apps open up quickly All right so let me just show you guys it is 7.1.1 got a very stock looking notification panel there you go Android 7.1.1 no kitty today okay so yeah and it does say it's a Verizon model, even though I'm using the Sprint model, that's just what the build is made off of. But like I said, it works great. Unofficial right there. Also, only bugs I've encountered so far is that I can't get picture messages, which kind of sucks. But I mean, it is still unofficial. It's still being built better and better every day. So we'll see in the future release see if they can fix that also another bug mentioned in the thread itself is that when you're playing YouTube videos in landscape mode just like that with the headphone or Bluetooth device connected the audio doesn't work I didn't try that personally because I was just using it as a phone rather than a media device and it's great you know I'm sure they'll fix that in future updates so anyways, let's just take a look at more of the stuff that Android 7.1.1 has. So one of the new features is just like Force Touch or 3D Touch on the iPhones. So it's only present in Google Apps so far. So holding that, I got my apps. They don't have that many options, I noticed. YouTube, you got a little bit more. You got trending, subscriptions, and you can search. Let's see what Google now has. So nothing for Google now. So it's mostly in Android apps. So you see with Hangouts, you got voice call, video call, chat. Does this have anything? No. So nothing for third party so far. Yeah. So it only works on Google apps, but so far it's awesome nice little feature it's not something I see myself personally using but I did notice when I did have the iPhone I would use it more and more so once I get used to other apps having it such as Facebook or Instagram or messenger I'm sure I'll like to go ahead and use that so it is very very stock Android but one thing I do notice that it has is that you can change some of the status bar stuff so status bar icons let's see what you can change here oh so you got all of these you change what you want or oh, you even got cell data hotspot all that good stuff change the clock style where you want it in the center now to the left or I can have it hidden but it's still there that doesn't make sense kind of like it on the left and of course I can have AM PM battery type you see it changed I like the circular let's see how the text one looks it's a text circle one looks nice I can have the battery presented inside the icon just as I do there show the weather brightness control show notification count double tap to sleep as you see I can turn it off double tap to sleep so it has a couple of cool little features that you can do on top of stock Android so anyways let me know what you guys think so far it's working very smoothly I'll leave the link to the thread in the description if you decide you want to flash it it is only for snapdragon variants it will not work on any other variants 
So just be careful when you're doing that. I don't want you to break your phone trying to get this awesome nugget up on your Note 7. And you will need a custom recovery, so please keep that in mind. All right, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys next time. This is Irf. Take care. Bye-bye.